What up guys, Panda Taco here. Um, just wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be installing my C4 Low Pro uh, front bumper. Um, it's gonna be an awesome day. I just got it powder coated. I'm gonna show you guys here. The lighting here isn't too good, but hopefully you guys can see that. Give you this view. So I have these brackets that I got powder coated with all the bolts and we're going to be needing these as well. We got the driver's side and the passenger as well. So P for passenger and D for driver. Um, those are going to relocate your uh, your steering uh, I think it's the steering fluid or steering column I forget um, anyways uh, I'm gonna get started on this I'm gonna do a time-lapse on it um, just because install is probably gonna take me quite a while um, let me know what you guys think about the video um, subscribe like and and uh, yeah leave a comment down in the section Yeah. But hers, I have to take the whole All right, thing so off. this plastic thing, you got to you gotta pry off right here. There's this red tab in there. They're not very specific. And let's see, this goes like that. The other side off? And just pops right off. I hope you put it back in. It pops right off. So you had a, there's another bolt over here. I'm popping this little thing off. I'll show you guys. You had to take off. Let's see. If you can see it, this is on the passenger side. You had to take this bolt off in order for the steering column to move back. Um, you will not have to reinstall that bolt. You can leave it out after you move the steering column back. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay guys, so we just installed the passenger right here. Uh, brackets to move the steering column. Here's the driver's side. So you had to take the original bolts out and in, reinstall them into the new brackets. And so you're just moving this whole thing back. Then with the supplied hardware, which C4 actually messed up and gave me the wrong size bolts, I had to use my own bolts, luckily I had a spare. I pushed it back. If you guys can see that, there's a bolt right there that I used to tighten it down on the bracket. Right there, that's the bolt that we used. It's kind of dark. But yeah, that's how to move back the steering Now you got it. Just keep cutting straight. Okay, I can get that on now. Yeah. Okay, so keep that. Let Let's just cut this all the this way through here. and no, get that. Clean, clean, clean it detail. up. We'll clean it up. Oh, well, we could have just pulled that out, huh? Mm -hmm. well, that just pops right out. Just like that. Okay, now we can really go up against the tape line that we have, Dad. I'm gonna get this part of this yeah, back. just get that out. We're gonna cut the top one later, no? Yeah. Yeah, just get those out. 
There we go. Yep, you're good. Keep going. It's looking good. Look. Good, good. Now cut straight up, yeah. The little scissors might be better. The little scissors might be better. Go straight up. Like that, yeah. Are they better? Oh, those are way better. Okay, good. Now just snip across, yeah. Here, is this in your way? Okay, just snip across. No, maybe use the other ones. Use the other ones. Use the other scissors. Do you have the... <sighs> we'll come back and clean that up. Yeah. Okay, that's good for right now. We'll come back maybe with the razor blade. Here, hold this right here. Do you think those scissors in your hand are oh, better? You gotta try them Just out. Just hold it. You see the screen? And this is the final cut. Okay. Don't go. Don't go in the white too much. Stay on the blue. No, I'm trying. The end of it. These cut like butter. So now it's out. Here you go. Keep going. Cutting. Keep cutting. I got it. Keep going. Oh, I scratched that part. It'll probably get covered with the rubber stripping. I hope so. Yeah. Damn it. Let me take this so we don't scratch as much. This is what's important right here. I should have taken get the okay, Cut it off in. then. Cut it off. Cut that piece off. No, that's okay. I got it. I'm almost there. <laughs> watch, watch when you're cutting. Watch this part, and watch the screw. I know. This. I know. You're good right now, but we'll keep an eye on that too. Okay. Okay, we're out. We're home free. All right, guys. So we just finished cutting, finishing our main cut of the bumper. Um, I had it order the edge. Uh, rubber edge guard trim right here, which I installed. Um, it came out pretty well. It's kind of a pain to install, but uh, you know, after messing it up a couple times, um, got it to uh, stick and came out pretty well. Hope you guys can see that. Um, but I put it all of where we cut. Um, then we went ahead and uh, installed the bumper. Sorry, I didn't get that on film. It was. I, it took about three three guys to lift the bumper and the winch and the light bar um, 
and to line it up with the uh, bolts, which I'll show you guys here. So you're gonna have to line it up with the bolts. Um, here's one bolt. This is from the bumper. It goes straight down. This is where you take your uh, crash bar out. Um, and C4 gives you a, um, a bolt and a nut with some washers. I went ahead and put extra washers just because I noticed um, that my the bumper when I installed it was tilting uh, down towards the right. And I'll give you guys a little view of that. It, it kind of strained it out, but I'll give you a backup view. So if you can picture the bumper going down that way, just about a, an inch or two. So it looked like it had a slant going down towards the right, uh, towards the driver's side. Um, so I, I put a few washers in and that was a pain just cause I, I kept, you know, tugging on, on this right side over here to, to try to lift it up. But you know, this is all steel and everything's pretty much, you know, set in place. I tried loosening the bolts a bunch of times. Um, I don't know why if it came, you know, like that from C4, but I mean, not a big deal, but you know kind of sucked when when installing the bumper um, but no big deal like I said I threw in some washers there at the bottom to help you know balance it out um, I'll show you another spot where you know here's uh, one of four bolts there's one towards the back right there if you guys can see that I'll zoom in for you guys see if it focuses you guys can see that so there's one bolt where you you're gonna have to tighten that up and here's two more bolts right there and i also bought this isn't necessary the c4 c4 uh, support bracket um, i went ahead and installed that that's against the frame and that is my sway bar right here so you disconnect your sway bar on both sides of course you put two bolts uh, you, you drill them, um, not drill, but you screw them back in, you put a bolt right here, and it sits on the existing two bolts that you b would have bolted in with a C4 bumper. Um, last thing to mention, I haven't thrown the L brackets in just yet, but those will go, if you guys can see, those will go in this hole right here, the L brackets, with, there's a... Uh, Kind of a bracket right here if you guys can see that i'll zoom out a little bit but if you guys didn't see my finger but that's that's what the bracket and this it's supposed to hold this from flopping around um but let me let me get a actual video not video but let me just show you the the brackets that i'm talking about here so it's going to go underneath like so, like that, so, something like this. And you're going to drill your uh, hardware that, you know, came with C4 into the bumper and that's it. Um, so like I said, let me know what you guys think of the bumper. I thought it came out pretty in. Um, leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the video. Stay tuned, stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.